Yes, welcome back. We're gonna continue the Korok hunt down to three now. As always, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for tuning in. Hope you're enjoying. And yeah, this is like a second half of a stream on Twitch, so you should pop in sometime. Okay. Right, so I mean, I'm gonna go over there. That's a given. Let me plan out a color. Which, Akala region counts here as well, technically. Alright. Can I live stream on YouTube? Uh, not at the same time as Twitch. If you're an affiliate or a partner, they don't let you do it. That's part of your, uh, agreement with them. So you can't do it simultaneously. I can, however, do it separately. So, like, if I start a live stream only on YouTube, then I can. Which I do sometimes. Every now and then I'll do it. I've been wanting to make that work a bit better, but the problem is... It's just hard for people to know when I'm live. It seems to be a lot more clunky than what Twitch is, so... But the big plus side is there's no ads on it. And I can choose to keep it that way. So that's the biggest draw of it. Okay, so here... There... Here, there isn't anything because these are guardians, and they're not right next to the guardians. So we can ignore that. We'll go back to Tarrytown because I need to get the other part of it. Okay, maybe here. Shit. There's not many ads here just when you first join the stream. Yeah, that's how, I, that's how I've set it. Um, because that shows the least number of ads to people. But the way Twitch is currently pushing to do it is that so you don't get ads shown to someone when they first join the stream, they make they're trying to make it so you know you run ads every 30 minutes, if not less. And they're trying to give out more money for more ads and stuff, and it's just If you have to do it to make ends meet, I understand, but it's just one of these things that's just I think it defeats the purpose of live content and as a smaller streamer, you just have more to lose with ads. It's like, okay, I'm going to get $2 at the end of the month, pretty much, if I'm lucky. And that's just going to piss someone off or alienate someone that they might not get a chance to check out my content because of the ad. It's just not worth that money. It's worth more to Twitch than it is to me, I guess. Let me put it that way. If I had a choice, I would completely turn them off and just never have them on. I mean, a collar I feel like is is very well covered. I'll check here, but I doubt it. Like this is all on the way to. There's a Lionel here and a Lionel here, so I doubt there's anything in between the two. This is the area where I feel like I've done the most work. I started doing, you know, pretty detailed... I don't think Akala's gonna have anything, just looking at it now. Um... I mean, here you could argue here and here because it's just it's just a large spot. Here, don't think so because there's an enemy base. But I guess I can fly over it. I can jump and fly over it and just see what happens. Um, sure, if I'm picking. If I have to pick. I'm beginning to think more and more that I should just go to Hyrule Castle. And then start doing Desperation then, but okay, let's just... That's a color. 
really it's this counts as yeah so akala would be check here one two get arrows okay if i'm getting arrows i may as well see what's over here and make it one trip and okay so let's look at it this way i'm gonna check here i'm gonna check here so we're gonna climb up the back of it check here check here because the thing is i can't go to this so this top level that's where the that's where the, the divine beast gets you so you can't go to that level so i can't go that high so it has to be okay i think i just go for a walk on this layer i think that's all i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go for a walk along that layer so climb to that spot and then walk along that side but even this i feel is unnecessary all right what about okay there there <laughs> that song I don't, I don't even know the melody of the song. I just I just know the lyrics popping up. I, I didn't get the melody ingrained in my head. That counts as the top. Uh, this should... Well, I guess if this one's hot, tall, then... Maybe not, so let's put that there. And then... Okay, got it. Alright. So this is this is the path. Go here first. Then we're gonna go off the back of Akala. We're gonna take a trip to Tarrytown. Then go up, get arrows. Go up the back. Climb up the back. And then go here, 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 here. Just walk along the edge of the volcano. There's a few spots in, around the town. And then drop off the side here. Go down, 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 down. And then from here we're going to the castle. But I get the feeling this next... Just, I'm sorry if this next hour is a waste of time. <laughs> I'm just going to apologize in advance. But those are the spots that I've picked out. This is the system I said for each tower with the exception of a couple that I feel like I was confident in I was going to pick spots And just look a little bit and then move on I just I have to say it for anyone watching now and anyone watching later because it's just like this might this might be where I find nothing I could very well find nothing this entire stream very well nothing for the rest of the stream I should say it could be nothing. <laughs> this is at that point, there's only three left. I have a feeling that they're going to be in the castle. Just, just a hunch that this is a waste of time. And I should just go to the castle, but I'm gonna stick to my guns. Because then, once I do go to the castle, then it's phase two, and we go, okay. Now I need to look at a tower-by-tower tower basis again, and now I'm really gonna, like, be nitpicky. Um, I think, I, I don't even need to go up the waterfall, I think it's just walk up this one. Anyway, um, I have the Sencha Japanese green tea. Again, the flavoured one, so... Good stuff. <laughs> Fancy tea. To me, it's just tea. 
But see, if, if I was with the concept of cheese and I thought everything associated with... With just, uh... Whatever wasn't just cheddar or your basic cheeses... That was fancy to me. So I guess it's the same thing, it's just with tea. You should... You should try. Try some of this fancy tea. I mean, I'm not gonna say go to the effort of having a tea... like a tea party. And go full British and go to tea party, but no. Just expanding your horizons when it comes to tea. It's... it's good. What brand is that? I mean, this one sp specifically is T2. It's the letter T number two. They do have an online store, and they do ship to America, but... Yeah, I don't know how much that costs. I've never really looked into it. They have a tea flavor called New York Breakfast. I do remember seeing that on their website. I maybe had to go up the waterfall. Did someone say team party tea time? Uh. Tea party tea time, okay. I mean, I'm not talking like, you know, pinkies up and you have to dress all formally. I'm drinking out of a mug that says, well, not a mug, but it's like a, a coffee cup that you take. For cafes. You can also drink tea in it, but it has... It has a, a design on it that just says coffee time C word. I, uh, I almost said it, but then I remembered, wait, YouTube doesn't like that word. They have it on Amazon. Oh, well, there you go. Depends on flavors, though, but the ones that I get, um, there's a specific nighttime one. There's a lemongrass and ginger. Uh, there's a peppermint one, if you're into that sort of stuff. The New York breakfast is good. The Melbourne breakfast is good. Um, there's Sencha, and then there's Gorgeous Geisha, which is like a Sencha with fruit. Is it loose or in the bag? You can you can get both. They do both loose and in a bag. You just read the description and it'll say it'll come with like 25 individual bags. But you can also get it loose if you want. They do both variations. Does it say on to make the, the handle to see? No. That would have been funny though. It's a missed opportunity right there. So that's pretty much the only spot that I would check. Just because it's, uh, it's a shelf of sorts. Hey, Gammy. How's it going? Your fancy coffee pot has a tea option that was never used. You try it. Yeah, try it. Expand your horizons. Could be something you enjoy. I mean, I haven't made it with an infuser or, like, the correct way. I usually just use bags because I'm lazy, but... People say that it's, uh, yeah. It's a different experience and it's better. I don't know. I haven't ever tried it myself. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, where is this shelf that I'm dropping down to? Is it here? No, it's this way. Just watching stream and TV. Oh, yeah. Cool, cool. I'm um, just walking around looking for the last three invisible leaf people. Which could make this just lengthy and boring. I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, I'm, I'm kind of lucky that I've gotten up to this point. I didn't think I would find that many today. But this could very well... Wrap up the collectibles section of this playthrough. Finally. And then I get to the part that you're supposed to do. Which is, uh, beat, beat the bosses and all that, that junk. <laughs> what the? Oh, there's this chest here. Oh, it's a five shot bow. That is. That is awesome. Um. I mean, this one I, I've used quite a bit, so we're going to just swap it out. That's a sick bow. What does the Leaf Master do? It, uh... It does a little animation. When there's uh, a little leaf thing nearby. So I'm wearing it until I find them all, and then I can take it off. There's no point to it anymore. It doesn't offer defense or anything, it's just... It's a radar. That's why I've been wearing it this whole time. Otherwise, this, I don't know. I, I'm not convinced I would ever find all 900 without this thing. Some of them, they're just... Un, unless you're really, really going through each area, I can't see how you would ever find some of them. Time to leave. I think for now, this area is all good. I just need to move on. I've got, I've got a, exactly a week to get this done. By this time next week, I have to be wrapping this up. I mean, that should be doable. <laughs> if I'm given at least five days to do the combat stuff, then it should be okay. It's almost like it's going to become a normal playthrough once these Koroks are done. It's just, oh, now it's just back-to-back -back fights. Back-to-back -back main quest, nothing else. It's almost like you'll see the entirety of the game. <laughs> this game has combat. <laughs> I, I bought stuff. I went to storm the castle. I killed a bunch of stuff. The Lionels and... <laughs> but 
throw the gi gigantic fish, the Molduga. So I guess you'll see the bosses and the powers that I'm supposed to have at this point. I'm supposed to have powers. I don't have any of them. You know, that's the other thing that uh, may not have taken into account in death count predictions, but I will have Mepha's power soon, and that means that it will prevent my death on a pretty regular basis. Just saying. Just gotta go one more. <sighs> yeah, I mean, if I list that out after the Korox. The beasts, so I have to do Rivali's beast, and I have to do, um... Yeah, I have to do the Gerudo Desert area, so... Rita and Gerudo Desert. Do both of their beasts, and there's a shrine after each. After that, I have all the shrines done. So then I go do... Mipha and Daruk's ones. I feel like in the interest of keeping the whole thing fair, I should do Mipha's one last. Because then I don't have the... the cheat death, technically, until the end. Then I have to do the bonus shrines from the DLC. Once those are done, then it's Trial of the Sword. Once Trial of the Sword is done, then it's the end of the game. behind me. At least this is straightforward. I'm happy that this area I was very, very detailed with. Okay, so it's pointing to here. No. Yeah, well, if this wasn't anything, the mask would have gone off already. Yeah, this is pretty much the only spot I wanted to check here in Akala. Okay. Well, let's keep moving. I guess I'm on my way to get arrows, but on the way I'll check a couple spots that I marked. speed elixir. Where is it? 
I have doubts that I'm gonna need it. Let's just do it to get through this quicker. these things. That was lucky. <laughs> Wait, what is one of these songs? I don't know any of these songs. We're tramping through the bush. On and on we push. What is that? Is this just another thing that's just... I don't know, that one? No. What is it from? It's probably... the backyard again. I don't know what... <laughs> It's just another thing where it's just... Okay. Just seeing the Wikipedia article on it. It is something that only aired in the United States and... Canada. So, that would be why. I mean, I'm, it's, I'm glad. So far, it's not that... It's not that I haven't heard of stuff. It's just, uh... Yeah. Australia just doesn't get a lot of that stuff. I mean, we probably have our own list of things that just don't make it to America. Really surprised because they say bush. We have bushes everywhere. But they don't call it the bush because there's bushes. Just Yeah, it originated in the US and then got released in Canada. Maybe it's just one of these things where they, they made it sound like that, like, oh, it's it's exotic. It's like, oh, the Australians say bush, yeah, let's use that. It's not that, I'm just, I'm sure there's like... So Alright, take Peppa Pig, for example. There's an episode of Peppa Pig where Peppa Pig makes friends with a spider. They don't show that episode here. You know why? Because you don't want to do that. <laughs> Bad idea to teach children to do that in Australia. You found someone from the Gerudo. Thank you. She was able to patch every last hole in my work clothes before I could blink. She's pretty, uh, amazing. And since her name is Ronson, I have no objections. I hear she's decided to continue putting her skills to use by opening a clothing shop. She stop by and say hello. Well, next is... Need more homes. 30 bundles of wood. Oh. Already got it. Yep. 
Next is, it's finally starting to look like a town here, which is exactly why we need to set up some distribution. A general store running. No one with the connections and qualifications. Do you think you can get an eye out for someone who distribution? Like a traveling trader. It's a good thought. Rita can fly around. Yeah. Good luck. You'll need it. We already know who it is. One last wrinkle. Sun in the name. Yep, yep. That's fine. Ugh. What is... Alright, I'll listen to the song now. I'll, give me a sec. But I gotta mute it. Called into the thick of it. This just sounds like the Wizard of Oz. Oh, it's buffering. Okay. Yeah, I looked it up. I, I heard the first minute or so of it. I get it. It had very Wizard of Oz vibes at the start, but... I don't know why, but just the, the one of the children singing it, I just... Ugh, I don't like it. <laughs> Again, it just reminds me of a time... Where I just hated when kids' shows would pop up because my brothers wanted to watch them. Okay, straight ahead. So far, I have yet to recognize a, a single song. And it's not through any fault of my own, it's just... Do we have Legends of the Hidden Temple? Nope. That was a TV show. What was that about? I feel like the names popped up, but I know we didn't have it. Ah, oh, crap. dealing with them. Okay. At least this will help this. Because I have to answer questions and then they go through an obstacle course to find three pieces of the monkey. Okay. I didn't want to say it, but yeah, that, that was what I was going to say. It was like an obstacle course show. And if I'm not mistaken, they didn't, did they win anything? Did they win anything if, if they got through it? What were the prizes? Yeah. 
Very few got the major prize. What was the major prize? I was trying to remember if my recollection of what I heard of that show is correct. <laughs> I think it was a family vacation. Okay. But it was one of those things that was very hard. So we had a similar show, but it wasn't, like, themed around, um, you know, ancient ruins or whatever. The show was just, it was called a, a Mason, so. Kind of like a pun on the, the word maze. And... Schools would go on it. That's That was the premise of it. It was like, there were two teams, and they had two kids on it. So there were round, there were three rounds. There was a round at the start where they would answer general knowledge questions. So, you know, they'd ask a question. Whichever team buzzed in first would uh, answer the question. And if they got the answer correct, they would have to run to the front where the camera was, and there was a giant keyboard that they would have to type the one-word answer on. As quick as they could, and however quick they did it, with the countdown, uh, that's how many points they would get. Then in round two, they would have a video game round where they would play a game. Uh, it would be, so one of them would be like Mario Kart, and it would be... Uh, how many coins they could get in a race. There was just, you know gaming stuff, or like how quickly they could do a lap, and then whoever won that round would get like a certain number of points. And then the overall winner would get to go into the maze. So the maze had seven keys hidden in it, and each key, for every key that a child found, the school would get a certain amount of money from the TV producers. And amongst those keys, there was one key they called the bonus key. So every every time it was different. And if you found the bonus key, both kids would get a Game Boy with a game. So everyone wanted to go on that show to find the bonus key and get the Game Boy. And I just used to watch that show and scream internally because the thing is, if you watch the show, you know where they hide the keys most of the time. That's like it was always in. In a set amount of locations, so you know more or less what you're doing if you if you're a watcher of the show. But the kids that went on this show, uh, it was just, ugh, it's horrible. But one episode I remember in particular, because the way it's supposed to be is they give enough time to do the maze, so you know it's a countdown, and there's enough time for each child to do one lap of the maze, and if you're quick, uh, someone can do a third lap, right? So there was one week where there were these two there was these two girls on and they made it to the final round. And so you know, the first girl goes through the maze and she's she's not doing it that quickly. And you can kind of see off screen like a few times that one of, one of the producers is like kind of doing like a hurry up, you know, clap clap, you know, trying to encourage it. So finally she gets through the maze and you know, at the point where she's supposed to tag her teammate she doesn't tag her teammate and just goes in for a second lap again. And so they run out of time. The, the poor girl doesn't get to run a lap herself. But even worse is this, this girl only found two keys and they weren't even the Game Boy key. So she didn't get the Game Boy. And she didn't let her teammate run through the lap. And I just thought... I was... I was just... I still think about this from time to time because it's just like... This this poor girl would probably think back to this time where she went to this this game show, <laughs> and the person she was partnered with was just like such a dick. Didn't she didn't get to run the maze? She'd probably be like, "I would have found that Game Boy key." Yeah, because she was clearly incompetent. Anyway. I always wanted to go on that game show but as a kid, but the problem was that I found out later that 
They only used schools from the area that was local to the TV studio, which was in a different state, so... Dream w would have never been realized it anyway, so... Did I make two shows like that anymore? No, not really. But it was a cool show. I think the way they did prizes for that show was great because it was... No matter what, the schools got something out of it. And I think even if the kids didn't get anything out of the maze, like if they didn't get the maze bonus key, they gave them an encyclopedia on CD from memory. So that was like the uh, the consolation prize was like, oh, here, here's an encyclopedia that you can use on an interactive encyclopedia. Which I guess they don't really have those anymore, but that's what you got if you didn't win. So you always walked away with something, but every kid wanted to go on that show to win the Game Boy. There are a few other kids game shows, but that was that was the one that I think most people wanted to go on. In Carter. It wasn't even in Carter, it was Encyclopedia Britannica. <laughs> Britannica. Yeah. Okay, well, keep- stick to the plan. Wait, you have Would You Rather Guts or Double Dare? Well, what do you mean? Oh, what were the names of the show? Uh, ooh. I'm trying to remember one of them. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I know, I remember the premise, but I can't quite remember the, the name of the show. Um, hold up. If I can find it. Trying to like read Wikipedia at the same time as walking up this hill. It's on the tip of my tongue, this name. I'm just looking at the list of Australian game shows. Yeah, there was one called Download. So hang on. Yeah, so there was like a, a trivia game, but then... What was the other one? Pick Your Face. Yeah, okay. So there was Download and there was Pick Your Face. Pick Your Face was one... Because at the time, um... That technology where you could warp one image to another, like, you know, how it would shift one image to another. It was a very 
new thing. So that game show was was based on that. It was like one of the rounds. Um, it would have the photo of the student that was on there. It would shift into a celebrity, and so they had to pick who the celebrity was before, you know, the warp process was completed. And a lot of the time, the kids just wouldn't get it. They wouldn't know who it was. <laughs> but sometimes they would. And another one was that, like, had a round where um, they had to find clues inside a nose. So they would be picking a gigantic nose and pulling out a clue. And then they would have to try and guess what the clue was referring to with just the stuff that came out of the nose. That's the one I was trying to think of. Download was a... Uh, I don't know, that show was weird. It didn't last very long, that one. Yeah, Pick Your Face was what it was called. Had that picking nose thing on Family Double Dare. Oh, no kidding. That was a gigantic nose. <laughs> Just had to pull clues out of it. I mean, the stuff that gets adapted from American TV. So, not surprised. They had green slime for it. What they had for this was, uh, it was almost like a silly string. But the thing that I remember the most about that show was just like, because it was gross out humor from that point, you know how a lot of stuff then, it was all about grossing things out. So they, they had just a lot of random sound effects playing through that show, like farting sounds and um, coughing and sneezing and belching. <laughs> it's just from that era. How much... Ooh, I forgot about resist. Okay, I have 20 minutes of it. That should be enough. That should be enough. Just thinking about resist. I will have to make more later. I'm sure there were other game shows, but those are the ones that I remember. They had other ones where they tried to make an adult game show a kid's version of it, but it just never worked. I'm trying to think what else they had. more interesting ones anyway. It's funny how these game shows just have to come up with these convoluted rules to get through it. They should bring them back. The thing that I want... I, I kind of like certain Japanese game shows. I think they're funny. And I wish we could see them.
I think the reason they don't do them is because reality TV shows just work. They make more money. That would be my guess as to why the game show has kind of died out. It's just... Reality TV shows have taken their place. Because they're more lucrative. Game shows are so much fun for kids. They are. No doubt about that, but... I mean, when was it about... <laughs> it being fun. I think the whole thing was, like, viewership. And, by extension, money. <laughs> One game show that I do like to watch clips from, um, every now and then. It's- it's a British one. It's still going, uh... It's called Would I Would I Lie to You? That one's alright. It's one of those ones where it's it's kinda there's no real prizes or stakes, it's just a bunch of comedians and they read out a statement and then the other team has to guess if uh if the person is lying or not. And so the comedian, if they're lying, has to make it seem believable. So they're using their uh their improv skills to some degree. To uh, make it sound believable. And sometimes it's such an outrageous story and then it ends up being the truth. Because they have led interesting lives. That's a good one. I recommend it. Of course, um... There is a bit of stuff to be lost in translation because sometimes it makes references to British television and British celebrities, so it's... But, I mean, the premise of it is, is good. Like, you might wonder, who are these people? <laughs> and then, like, the audience gets excited over a certain person turning up and it's like, I don't know this person. <laughs> it's just... That'll happen. But, I mean, at least the person's funny and entertaining, so. But just the whole who they are just goes over your head. Because you don't recognize them. I mean, there are people turning up on that show from pretty popular British TV shows that are more well-known around the world, so. It's not like it's super local, but, yeah. Like, Jimmy Carr's on it a few times. And, uh, Richard Ayode, or however you pronounce his surname. It's a start. Finally got all the climbing gear. You know what? I don't think I've even done that yet. The climbing gear is just my the biggest disappointment I've experienced in this game. Okay, so I can't go all the way to the top because this thing will uh Yeah. It'll it'll hurt if I do. I'll pop into the town and make more of these, so then, yeah, I kind of have to anyway. I thought with the climbing gear, oh, if I upgrade it completely, maybe it'll let me climb in the rain. Eh. That would be too logical. I wasted all these upgrade materials, thinking it was going to work. Nope.
I can't really go, yeah, beyond that line. So let's just delete that. Okay, so now we're going. Let me plan this out that way, all right? So keep heading in this direction. As long as I stick to the safety line, I'll be okay. Yeah, you can't like it's already it's already doing it. It's already shoving me out of it. Okay. Okay, so down from here, what what are we pointing at? Here? No, it's slightly to the side of that. So here. Okay, that's 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 it, that's it, that's it. This is all I wanted to check. Okay, keep going. I guess this is more because I was in the area, and not because I believe that this has anything. Also see it. Oh, I've already gone down this one. You can kind of see it just by looking down as well. the ones I want to check out. Ah, oh, come on, why is that slipping? That shouldn't have slipped. Okay, I'm gonna climb to the top of this one. Oh my god. Why is this so bad? Look at- looking at this geometry, it shouldn't be this bad. I should be able to stand up on this. Particularly here. Yeah, there. Why was it being difficult before? been to the top of that one, so let's just do this. Uh, that's enough. Go onwards. Right. 
I mean, I'm not surprised in the slightest this has nothing. <laughs> but, I guess it'll... It'll just mean later I'm not losing my mind. Go. What do you mean? Why are these allowed to spawn here? And in such large numbers too. Four of them, really. directly. Thing is, I don't want to fall down too low. Yeah, that'll do. I didn't see anything. If there was something there, I definitely would be able to see it, so there's nothing there. This is, uh, this is taking longer than I thought it was going to take. I thought this would be much quicker to get across here, but it's pretty steep. <laughs> Somehow I got lower than where I was before. Should be enough time to get to the town. I'm hoping. I don't know if I can go any higher. I think this one is dangerous territory, so let's just do this. Okay, this is less dangerous. Okay, 
that's the that's the There's the line. Okay, so I have been further down, so now from here. Go across. Okay, let me look at this. Climb any higher here. Yeah, I mean, this one looks like it's on the edge. Okay. to from here. Okay, go across one more, and then I'm just gonna drop. Okay, on to my second one. Hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two left. <laughs> That's a sneaky one. It's only because I messed up. I was going to go back and go up this way. Because I saw... Oh shit, I didn't go high enough. So I was going to walk back up this way. Wow, that was lucky. Okay, so now... Uh it's within reason to think the rest of them are in the castle. Confidence is high that I might get this done today. Especially if I'm going to the castle next. To me, it seems likely that it's just in the castle. It's going to end in the castle. I'll still go through the areas I said I would just in case, but... I'm now heavily leaning towards the castle. This is just... I should... I would go there, but let's just... I picked out the spots. I'm gonna try. Maybe, maybe the castle isn't even involved. That's the thing. Okay, just... What have I done here? Oh, that's fine. Just glide across this. I feel better about this now. Two shrines, two Koroks. Two, there are two directly south. Okay, hang on. Two directly south of here. Yeah. Alright, I'll just do it this way and then run up the hill. It's fine. 
I don't have to go to the town specifically. But there is a spot where I can cook. Just somewhere where I can cook more heat resist shit. Okay, so this is this is the one that I wanted to look at. This peak here. I think I would have been able to see it from a distance, but it's just I didn't climb to the top of it, so. Oh wait, no, it's the one next to me. My bad. It is, wow, it is way taller. Okay. Fingers crossed this might be one too. That would just leave one. Nope. Okay. That's okay. Um, there's two directly. I can already see there's nothing on them. But I will do this at the very least. Yeah, that should have been covered. Okay, delete. Delete. What's the other spot that I pointed out? The other one is still going along here, so it's the next one in line with these ones, which is over there. Okay. process. I'm going to be so glad if I get it done today. That gives me so much more confidence that I'll be able to finish this in time. Fall off this and go to the town. I don't need to look this up now. Okay. Because there's still the other markers, but for now, I'm going to the town to create more food. Yeah, after I've done that lower area there, it's, I'm going to the castle. It is most likely where the last two are. Okay, or even if it's not the last two, one of them. And if it's not... <laughs> if I don't find anything there, then... Well... I guess I, I gotta think long and hard.
This is more just to ensure that I get out of here. Oh, but also, I want more Goron spice. got a lot. I always get lost in this town. from here. Um, I'm gonna... I need to toast an apple for... It's fine, it'll get toasted on the sign. Baked apple. Okay, where is, uh, I need a spot to cook. Where is the, oh, there, there, there. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. I need to collect more of them. Another spot to stop for him, anyway. Okay, we're out of here. I wish I didn't have- I didn't waste so much time. I guess I got no choice now, huh? It's okay. I'll have half an hour worth of this later. <laughs> These birds walk funny. At least I didn't die. Thank you. 
Lumis stone doesn't matter. This may have been a mistake. Wants to kill me. Perfect. Okay, what am I looking at here? That's the summit here. Okay. I can see why I didn't go for it. There's stuff around it. Might be, might be a reason to go up there. Bad news. Why? Why? <laughs> if there was a car, I could be up here. It's done. All right, I got it. I got it. All right, from here, where am I going? Just straight down. All right, got it. Why? That is such a dick move. Excuse me, sir, just recovering stamina. Okay. And now I'm heading that way. Right? Yeah, straight that way. And that's just through the middle parts here, and onwards to Hyrule Castle, round two. I went to the top of this one, right? Yeah, we went to the top of that one. There was already a Korok there. Which, this time I'm not going to go a full all-out approach. nice and close. Wait, is that even reachable? Where is that? It looks like it's in the side of the mountain. Huck. 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 
Is this just gonna be, uh... Like, haha. -ha. That looks like a terrible spot, almost not worth going for, because I think the moment I approach it, it's gonna roll off the cliff and into the water. roll off and okay hold on I'm doing that Maybe it might be fine. It looks like it's on a little shelf. I knew it! Such a, a troll spot. I'm looking at the time. It's it's not too late. It's not too late. I think I can I can squeeze in a bit more of a search. I think I can at the very least look at Hyrule Castle. <laughs> Two left. Yeah, but this. <laughs> That could be anywhere on the map. It's... It's two left, I'm assuming, that they're in the castle. If they're not in the castle, then it's like, okay, there's two left on this giant map. Where? Okay, so... There's a skull to the side here. want to fly over it. The Korok thing would be going off if there was anything here. It did not. Okay. Confirm not here. Then we have another... S another spot to the side here.
is, I guess, jump off the skull and go that way. Alright, it's not on here either. Yeah, that's a lizard camp, but definitely don't want to fuck around here. Just looking at the landscape. Okay, straight ahead. Sorry, I'm just... Okay, uh, that way. Do you think the... the jelly are their pets? The Coblin pets? Like, they have a pet slime? It almost seems that way. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm convinced, yeah. Alright. Oh, there's the path that leads to the castle. Alright, we'll go over this hill. Is there anything on the hill? Eh, uh, I'll cut it through the middle just in case, but I doubt there's anything there. The sides of hills generally don't give anything, but I usually just cut them in the middle, so then I don't think to do that later. Rooms. I'm definitely gonna make a few speed things before I go into the castle. Are there any more? Okay. Wait, is this a lake? It's a lake. Okay. Just a luminous stone. There's usually crabs around here. I want to look. Where are my crabs at? Bright eyed crabs, where are you? Oh, you know what? I haven't checked this thing for treasure. It just kind of occurred to me, what if in the middle of it? Yeah, 
Yeah, there's nothing. Well, this is a disappointment. I thought there'd be a treasure chest at least. Fish. Come back here, fish. Stamina fish. Aww. Fish. <laughs> yes. There should be more. You know what? I should check the fish. If there's stamina fish, I want more stamina fish. Oh, shit. Why didn't that go off earlier? I've been here before. What? Wait, what? What? L look at look at this. I've gone around the perimeter of this lake and it never... Because it's in the middle? Oh, that's bullshit. Wow. Wow. Okay, so there's one left. I'm kind of annoyed at this. Why didn't it go off? I was even swimming in the middle of it before, and when I went to check for the treasure chest in the middle... Oh, whatever. Fish. I want this fish. Yep. <laughs> okay, well, let's not waste any time now. I'm going to Harold Castle. I just wanted more stamina stuff because I'm going to be climbing. And movement speed. This is it. Oh, he teleports you up there. Hey! Ah! Yeah, I did do this already. That was a mistake. If shield surfing didn't damage your shield, I'd do it more often. I think it should be allowed on grass as well. It's just if it's if it's done on stone, that's where it should damage. Stone makes sense for it to damage a shield. Grass, come on. It makes no sense because in the snow and in the you you would think sand would damage more than grass, but it doesn't. Okay, so I'm going through the, the rear entrance of the castle this time. There's nasty grassy stains on a shield. Metallic shield. I mean, sand would mess it up more, wouldn't it? I don't know. Dude, I just wanted to cook just... Re it started raining! I wanted to cook here. 
Oh, this game is such a dickhead. Such a dickhead. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. The new game better reduce the amount of rain by at least half. Oh. Oh, man. How did they not see that there was something wrong with this? You have to be pretty blind. Okay. Apparently I can't carry any more meals. Okay, well. <laughs> I was trying to finish my tea. <laughs> Completely forgot about it. Now it's iced tea. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, there wasn't much left to it, but it's okay. I really, really hope it's here. Oh, that would make... Make things so much easier for me if it were here. <laughs> if it's not. We're going into needle in a haystack mode. Which I, I really don't want to happen. <laughs> If it's not here, I look at the towers that I didn't consider, which is first and foremost the Gerudo Tower and anything near that. And then this area to the north of here that I was like, I'm 100% positive there's nothing there. Those are, and uh, Lake Hylia, of course. Those are the three areas that I ruled out because I'm confident that those are done. So those, I'll have to look around those areas first. If nothing comes of those areas, then we do round two of everything. Which I, I hope it doesn't come to that. I do hope... If it's not here, it's gonna be in the desert or around Lake Hylia. I doubt it's up here. But we shall see. Confirm he said something earlier that kind of gave me... A little confidence is going to be here. So... That's assuming I, I haven't found all of them. But just a little vague recollection popped in. Which 
She said there were three indoor. And I can only account for two of them in my head. Yeah. Alright, so we're going a different way this time. That's if I'm remembering correctly. I, I could be completely wrong. With this map, there's no way to know, but I know that the east side has been um, explored less than the west, so we'll start with the east side. And I'll aim for just areas that lead inside the castle first. Oh yeah, shit, right, we're... We're back in this territory now. I forget. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna this is going to be fun. I can't lose two shields. I'm not gonna take out everything, but just things that are in the way. Okay, what is this? This is Oh, this is this. But I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going this way. Cause it's safer, technically. Get the fuck out. Alright. Here. Okay, we're done. But I came- didn't I come in this tunnel? Remember that I went up the minecart track? Is this a different minecart track? Which one of these is it, though? Okay, I need to stop wasting fire arrows. It's not this one. Oh. Yeah. 900! <laughs> you found all the hidden Koroks. And now, ugh, I can take the stupid mask off. It's probably been suffocating, Link. Okay. Well. I guess I can leave here, huh? <laughs> There's no reason to continue. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> it's not gonna go into overtime. So what is- what is this exactly? I've never been here before. There's a talus here. What the? Where is this place? <laughs> you know what? I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care what this is. <laughs> I thought this was the spot where you go through and then on the other side, you have to cross like a body of water. And then 
you go further into the castle. Oh no, so I almost definitely did not go anywhere near this. I just saw this as a safer way to get inside the castle. Because I remember jumping in one of these and using stasis, but this is something completely different. Okay, well... Oh, this is nice, because I don't have to go through this again. How do I get off this now? Hang on. I need a, I need a, a way to get out of here. Without too much hassle. Oh no, there, 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 there. Yep, there's my, there's my way out. So we're heading to the Rito village now. It begins. I think I can make it. I can stop checking the map every minute. <laughs> That's it. I can stop checking the map now. I have been liberated from the map. More importantly, Link can breathe again. His, he has his normal face back. But the journey is far from over. I feel like like a massive weight has been lifted <laughs> now. Just Ugh. now I can just focus on finishing the game, or I should say playing the game. Gee, yep, no, don't you dare! I don't want to make this a third time. Also, looked at the the clip from uh, a couple of days ago. Lightning did strike indoors. It most definitely uh, had a lightning strike happen right next to Link indoors. So I almost got killed by a lightning strike indoors. Because of course. I, I really don't want to die a third time to lightning when I'm not wearing anything. Right, so the order is going to be the Rito, the Vine Beast, then the Gerudo one, then the uh, the Goron one, and finally the Zora one. Because we're not going to get Mifa until the end, so then it's fair that I can still die. Ordinarily, I would probably do Mifa's one first, so I get that passive. But, in the interest of entertainment, I won't get the passive. Not until the very, very end. I still haven't decided if I'm gonna go full, like... Make myself suffer mode, where I'll just ignore the heart containers and just go three hearts all the way. Or if I'll do what I did the first time, which is just, uh... Upgrade Link to its full capacity when, uh... I got the final two shrines. I haven't decided.
happy. Look at look at this. <laughs> it's just done. Ugh. Yay, didn't get struck by lightning. Just every now and then I kind of have the... Because it's, it's just... It's the habit now to bring up the map constantly, but I don't have to do it. Such a weird feeling now. Cancel the blood blood moon again. I saw the thing like I wanted to do a blood moon, but it's gone. Yeah, there it is again. What the fuck? Okay, now it's like. Why did why are they feeling so abrupt? The blood moon rises once again. Please be careful. Okay. It's fine. So I guess, was that technically in- I guess that- that Korok wasn't technically indoors. It's- it's still outdoors. That's classified as an outdoors area because it's a cave. So then what was the third indoors one? I must have gotten it because that was outdoors. 
Yeah, that was outdoors, for sure. So where was the third? Now this is bothering me. Not that it matters, but... Eh, doesn't matter. <laughs> Whatever. I have to go get that, don't I? It's just over there, so shouldn't be too bad. over this way, near the tower. be able to see it, so where is it? I'm hearing the sound, but I'm not seeing anything. Lizal false. I'm hearing the sound like I came across it, but I don't see it. Just vanish? I don't know. I'm sorry I've seen this a couple times where something falls and then it just vanishes. not seeing it, like you would see the beam of light, and I swear it fell in this direction. Ah! Fuck! Still alive!
I don't know where this fell. It, it hit this tower. There's nothing here. Well, it's almost daybreak. It'd be gone by now. Alright, screw it. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> That's just too much fucking around. So, this isn't checking map. This is what I was checking. This one. Okay, I need to talk to Saki. We got you. Oh. Hey, dude, you're gonna catch a call dressed like that. Oh. Hey, man. Oh, shit. Really? I have to. 
I can't talk to him unless I put pants on. All right, let's just. There you go. Oh. <laughs> have you seen it? Yes, I saw it. Everyone in the village is freaking out because of it. I have bigger problems. My mom is so nice. She asked me to help out at the store every single day. I can't take it anymore. I don't want to just help. I want to open my own store and sell whatever I want. But I don't want to compete with mom. I wish there was a place I could set up. You heard of Tarrytown? Tarrytown? Tell me more. So he takes me seriously in this outfit. Doesn't take me seriously before. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> but the Akala region, that's pretty far out there. But I guess I've got to leave the nest someday. And to have my own store. <laughs> okay, I made up my mind. I'm going. But me to terror and disguise, I'm gonna have to fly low. Thanks for the tip. And hey, don't be a stranger. Come visit my new store anytime. I've never had... This is the village where... Are they just prudes? Because every other place I could speak to whoever I wanted wearing the clothing I, w I was wearing. But here it's like, put some clothes on, man. What? No. Can I at least wear this? Sometimes this music feels like I'm listening to mafia music. What's wrong? Okay. Forgive my intrusion, but I overheard you speaking with the Elder. It sounds like you intend to help my husband, Teba, in the fight against me, though. But to tell the truth, there is not much I can do for you right now beyond telling you where my husband went. Well, my husband headed to a place called the Flight Range. It's in Dronox Pass at the base of the Hebra Mountains. It's a place where retail warriors prepare for aerial combat. I imagine he's gone there to gather weapons for another run at Mado. As it happens, he made his way to the flight range on foot this time. If you take off from Rivali's Landing, it's a straight shot from the flight to the flight range. Rivali's Landing is a memorial for the Rito champion Rivali, so named in the hope that none might forget the events of that horrible day. Now we get a we get a flashback with Link's genuine look of uh, of excitement. I missed the mask already. Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All I don't like Revali. You happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just 
asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong, maybe we should just settle this one on one. Shut up, Ravioli. Oh, I know. How about up there? Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Good luck sealing the darkness! Descendant. Descendant, are you alright? My apologies, I fear I've said far too much. If there is anything you do not understand, please do not hesitate to ask. Yeah, the only question I have for Ravali is just like, how is he able to suck his own dick that easily? Because I gotta say, that's, that's quite the talent. To just be able to suck your own dick. What am I doing? Even that's not enough. I'm walking. Naked. We're all better. I forgot to give the bag the apple. It's okay. I'll give it later. I'll be back there anyway. <laughs> nice try. Just checking. Okay, it's to the side. Just climb up here. Not a Karak check, just a, uh, a flight range check. I did not think I'd be doing this now, in all honesty. Me. 
And then comes the sad music. There we go. Now it's like I'm playing the game! <laughs> yeah. I don't know you. And I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. Huh? It's not every day you see topless highlands around these parts. Anyway, I'm busy, go away. I can help you. Help me? With what exactly? Let me get this straight. Some random Hylian wants to help me bring down Divine Beast Varmeadow. I'm not buying it. What's your name, stranger? I'm Link. Link, huh? Well, Link. I'm Teva. But you already knew that. I'm guessing the Elder asked you to come here and talk some sense into me. Am I right? That's right. Just like the Elder to trust any fool wandering into town. Look. You seem like an alright guy, but let me make one thing clear. I'm not going anywhere. As a Rito warrior, I can't rest until my people are safe. There's only one way I'm going back to the village, and that is... Once Divine Beast Varmido falls from the sky. If I have to kill Mido, so be it. Only then will I return to the vi village. Well, let's get started. Are you serious? Ha! Well, far be it from me to talk you off the ledge. But as the Elder said, the only way to stop Varmido is to get inside it. Fat chance of that happening, there's no way we can set foot in Valmuto. Actually, see, so you're not only wingless, but you're brainless too. Let me fill you in. The only people able to enter the Divine Beast are the five champions of old. And unfortunately for us, and the rest of Hyrule, they all died a hundred years ago. If it hadn't been for Ganon. <sighs> Never mind. Let's focus on bringing down Meadow. One step at a time. If we can approach Meadow recklessly, its cannons will blast us out of the sky before we even get close. So I'm going to need you to test you before I can take you with me. We Rito warriors use the updraft in this ravine to hone our aerial archery skills. The updrafts are so strong here that a person could just open up a cloth over their head and float up easily. Now let's see what you're capable of. You'll have to maneuver through the air and destroy five of the targets set up in this valley in three minutes. I'm ready. Hmm. Then go and destroy targets with your arrows. Okay. <laughs> One sec. Hey, Gami. This is just like a, a formality at this point. One more. Perfect. Okay, come on back. Hmm, I'm not sure about your fashion sense, but you're certainly a fine archer. I've got to tell you, Link. When you first showed up, I thought someone was pulling a prank on me. But after seeing you handle that bow, I can tell you the real deal. You must have seen a battle or two. You know what the funny part about this is? They've taken into account that people will want to play this naked. Because they have specific lines for not having clothing on. Anyway. Hmm. I can believe it. Link, I feel like I've heard that name somewhere before. Well, if you really want to help me bring down Meadow, it's now or never. I'll get into position so you can give its cannons all you've got. Get inside that treasure chest is a bow mode by take me take it and let me know when you're ready. Okay. Well it's true, like they have specific <laughs> specific lines. Wait, do I have to take his bow? Hmm. Bomb arrows. Okay. So it's a cold up there. Warm clothes. Preparations. Hmm. Wait a second. Um, saving. For one. Okay, we're going. Hmm. 
Why are you doing this? Why are you risking your life to bring down Meadow? To rescue Zelda. Mm -hmm. Zelda? But that's the name of the princess Rivali served a hundred years ago at Hyrule Castle. I don't know what she has to do with Va Me Meadow, but whatever. As long as you're helping me bring down Meadow, your motivation is fine by me. Right, get on. At least this dude's nicer than Rivali. Alright, it's showtime. Man, even I feel like I'm going to freeze up here. There's Divine Beast Varmetto. It has its barrier up again. What a pain. What's wrong, Link? Too scared to talk? Let's go over the plan. See those cannons? I'll draw their fire. While I'm doing that, use your bomb arrows to destroy the cannons. Got it so far? If you need to withdraw for a bit, just spread your cloth and float up in the updraft for a while. I'll take that as a sign that we need to regroup. Don't bother aiming for anything covered by Meadow's barrier. It's impenetrable. And whatever you do, don't get close enough to touch it. And finally, I know I've said this a few times already, but don't forget your cold protection. We can move whenever you're ready. Let's go. All right. Now go blow up those cannons. Be careful. Watch out. One. That's it. Okay, let's take a snack here. <laughs> yeah. It's us. Be careful. Gotta get closer. There we go. That's the way. Still targeting him. Good meat shield, good decoy. One more. history.
still injured. Oh, got injured. Looks like I got hit pretty good back there. I think I think I need to get back to the flight range. I just hope that I can make it back. You head down to middle. Good luck. It's all you. See, why can't Rivali be like that guy? that one, huh? Good Rivali replacement. Okay. Felt like I wasn't gonna get here, but here we are. Well, now, like I've how many streams later? First base. Oh, it's not order. Feeling you would show up eventually. But making me wait a hundred years is a bit indulgent. Who are you again? You're here to wrest control of Meadow away from Ganon, correct? If so, then the first thing you'll want to do is find yourself a map. That guidance stone has the information for the layout of this divine beast. Can you make it there? Okay. Mission start. Oh, this shit, yeah. What about this? Just stay away from the skulls, we'll be fine. I guess it begins, huh? Oh, you wanker. You would, laser. <laughs> Still okay. Then we got the tilt controls now. You'll need to look closely at your map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that will activate Meadow are marked by those glowing points. You'll need to activate all of the terminals to take back control. Think you're up to it. Yeah, I mean, the system was a mixed bag. Hang on, what am I looking at here? Uh, okay, I see. Oh yeah, right, this required a Korok leaf. Just get rid of it. 
fine. Down you. Oh, I got it. Okay, first one done. I have a time limit for this because I need cold resist. There are four terminals remaining. Stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's look at the one at the tip of the wing. I feel like that one you have to go outside for, but I don't remember. There it is. I think these were cool, it's just having the same mechanic because you solve you solve them all in the same way so it kind of lessened the fact that these were this game's dungeons Alternate way in. Probably not. Uh, the sword. Okay, hold on. Uh, that is a much better weapon than what I have currently. It doesn't matter. I have to have, I have to have cold resist the whole way through. It's okay. I've stocked up on it, so it should be okay. Okay. 
Okay. There are three terminals remaining. Keep going. Probably the most encouragement that Ravioli has offered ever. Too much. Total miss fell on me. Okay, that's done. remaining. You're almost there. Okay, so there's one at the end of each wing by the looks of it. Seems wrong. Hang on. I'm gonna go outside. There. Does this work or does this have to be an arrow shot? I really don't want to waste an arrow shot on this. Good. <laughs> no arrow wastage. to the underside. It's there, I can see it.
Okay. Just one. Just one terminal. What do you know? Same thing again, I would imagine. <laughs> Shit, there's a carriage. Reset me. It's open now. I don't need that anymore. just need to start the main control unit. I want you to take a good look at your map. There should be a new glowing point on there. Well? Flap to it. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go home now. Fuck you. You can wait another hundred years, dickhead. on the roof. Just the quickest way back out there. Wait, where's... That's what I was looking for.
thing is one of Ganon's own, and it plays dirty. It defeated me 100 years ago, but only because I was winging it. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but you must avenge me, Link! His aim is dead on. Watch yourself! enough stamina I messed up to be more careful this is the annoying thing about master mode is just this shit okay, let him move let him move Uh, stamina recovery. Now's your chance. Oh, ow. I didn't see him up there. I hate this. <laughs> Watch your blind spot. Covering too much, it's so annoying. I'm gonna go hit him. Go for it. Okay. Ha! 
Ugh. This is tiring. Damn it. Let's try. Could have gone better. <laughs> so I'm faced with a decision here. I can either commit to the challenge or just be like, nah, we're upgrading once 120 hits. I have a choice. <laughs> Once you activate the main control, you will open up the interior of this divine base. Yes. It's on the exterior. That's the keyword. You can still come back for this. Well, I'll be plucked. You defeated him, eh? Who would have thought? No, I didn't forget the heart this time. I chose not to grab it. Well done. I suppose I should thank you Fuck now it. that my spirit is free. This returns Meadow back to its rightful owner. <laughs> Don't preen yourself just for doing your job. I do suppose you've proven your value as a warrior. A warrior worthy of my unique ability. The sacred skill that I have dubbed Ravali's Gale! Important getting this first because it just means exploration is now going to be so much easier. <laughs> Not that I'm exploring anything, it's more navigation. And start making preparations for Meadow Strike on Ganon. But only if you think you'll still need my help while you're fighting inside Hyrule Castle. Feel free to thank me now. Or, never mind, just go. Your job is far from finished, you know. The princess has been waiting an awful long time. one down.
window sights are now set. You'll have a precise speed on Ganon from this vantage point. And when the time is right, give him everything you've got. Now we wait for that perfect moment. <laughs> Meadow, we've been artfully patient for the last 100 years. I doubt you'll suffer a feather over a few more moments. <sighs> After all these years, I simply must admit the truth. Even without the power of flight, Link made his way to this divine beast and accomplished something that even I could not. Live. I guess I was wrong about <laughs> how lucky he would be. I hope that luck holds out, Link, for everyone's sake. He accomplished one thing he couldn't do, which was live. Ravioli's Gale. Yep. Hooray. <laughs> You've done it and you survived at that. You conquered Divine Beast Valmetto. To think the beast has taken up roost at the top of the village, it simply looks divine. If the legends are true, the light from the Divine Beast will ravage the Calamity. From now on, Divine Beast Valmetto will become protector of this village and live on in legend alongside you. Ooh, of course, I must reward you. Feel free to take what you find in that treasure chest. What you did was miraculous, so I should expect nothing less than one from the bloodline of a champion. Why? You are almost the equal of the very Hylian champion who fought alongside Master Ravali a hundred years ago. All you lack is a sword that seals the darkness. If you had the sword that seals the darkness in your possession, you'd be the spitting image. The ravioli bow. Which you can repair. Okay. Yeah, what am I doing? Same photo. It's okay. Okay, now to the warbler's nest thing. Hmm. hmm, I see you've got the great eagle bear from the Elder. That thing is way too heavy to use in aerial fighting. I I'd end up sacrificing a lot of my speed just to take the shot. If I had but the strength and speed of Master Ravali, that would be a different story. But seeing the way you handled the bow against Mito, I suggest we let you borrow the great eagle bear. Take it with you on your adventure, along with the respect of the Rito. Well then. My wounds are just about healed, so I guess it's time for me to take Chulin to the flight range. I'm hoping Chulin grows to be a distinguished warrior, like Master Ravali. Okay. Huh? Okay, Chulin, let's go to the flight range. Aww. Really, Dad? Yay! <laughs> okay. Alright, Link. I'll be at the flight range if you need me. <laughs> hey, guy, come play with us at the flight range anytime. Was the lady that wanted a baked apple? Okay. 
Okay, now this quest should be available. Oh no. Okay. Never mind. We'll find it in a minute. I hate practicing singing. Who cares if I'm not a good singer? All this pressure is making me hungry. I want some salmon munier. <laughs> Forgot what the recipe for it. It's like salmon butter and uh uh what was it? Hearty salmon wheat butter. There you go. Hold. Uh, wait. And it's hearty salmon. There it is. Wait. These are rice balls. Hang on, load. What happened there? It's. Salmon, wheat, and goat butter. Or did I- no, I picked rice. I picked rice, not wheat. Idiot. It's okay, I have those ingredients. Yeah, I don't know why I thought it looked like wheat. Okay, um... That's wheat. But, uh, it's light. <laughs> okay. I have it. I made it. Loading again, because apparently I need to do it through the quest. I thought I'd just give it to them, but nope. I don't want to waste it. Are you all naked? Hurry up and- Oh, for fuck's sake. Do I just have to put pants on? Is, is that all it is? But yeah. No? Okay. <laughs> That's so annoying. I heard that Divine Beast Valmero has been appeased. Hence- Yeah, okay, I didn't realize. Teaches me. Oh, I've already got that. I hate that it's forcing me to wear clothing. Kill, what are you? I can't find Kill anywhere. Where should could she be? Maybe she went to war business to practice her singing. Was that far away? Because you made it on her own. Find kill. Okay. I mean, this is setting up the warblers nest quest, so let's do it.
Okay, so you can travel up there. Anyway, doesn't matter. My sisters are dumb. They promised we'd rehearse together, but no one showed up. We have to perform our song for the elder at Warbler's Nest. We're going to be laughed off stage. Hey you, you look like I can use you. That is to say, you look like a nice guy who likes to help people in need. Can you go tell my sisters in Rito Village to stop ditching rehearsal? They won't listen to me, but they might listen to a scary looking highly unlike you. Although Genli might be a tough sell, she's probably in the kitchen yelling. I want Sammy, me, 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 me. Or something like that. She doesn't want to sing either. She's such a pain. Okay. I guess the neat thing is that I can now use ravioli power to get back. for ravioli power, except it wasn't high enough, so I, this is going to be pointless. Oh, you only got one charge of it initially. Ravioli power. Some goat butter. Huh, rehearsal. Oh, yeah, I forgot. If I give you this goat butter, will you make some salmon? Me, 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 but I can't remember where it is. Over there. Hi, hi, I'm fishing for hardy salmon, huh? 
What are you doing here? What rehearsal? Ah, I totally forgot. I was too focused catching these fish. Kiel's gonna kill me. Please take this hearty salmon and go make some salmon munier. Okay. At least it gives you the ingredients. But see, that's so disappointing, because you look at, um... Just how much it gives you, it's, it's nothing. Just five hearts. It should give more. Just because it's a specific recipe. Then, at least finding out the recipes would have some incentive. Another person that just refuses to talk to me because I'm not wearing clothes. But if I wear this gimp outfit... Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Give me a break already. I just can't believe my husband brought me here for our honeymoon. He already apologized, but if he doesn't want a divorce, I told him he better bring me a baked apple. Okay. So stupid. <laughs> Back to being naked. Just let me be naked. Save the marriage with a baked apple. The, it seems like such a minor problem. At the. But does food solve every problem? <laughs> Jeez. It's the stuff of nightmares. The blood moon rises once again. Sometimes, most of the times. Okay, noted. Ravioli's Gale. Your husband brings you Taco Bell and you're happy. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't know the dynamic of these two here. It's, I, I don't know if it's just a case of that the argument is solved or if there's an even argument in the first place. It's just like a, there has to be a constant apple supply. Oh. 
I don't have Ravioli's Gale. I set the climb. Call that song Return of the Bird Wrangling Hero. First movement. Thank you for listening. What? Sing Russell at Warbler's Nest? I didn't forget. I, it's just that Genli really wanted some salmon. Meh, 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 meh. So my sisters and I have been looking for the ingredients. I finished early, so I was practicing here to kill time. <laughs> I feel bad we left Kiel waiting, though. Should really head over to rehearsal. Well then, guess I'll give you this Tabantha wait to you. Please make the best. Yeah, yeah, okay. If there was an Australian localization of this game, it'd be OI! 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 <laughs> Where is it? That's not. There needs to be three already. How long have you got left? Rivali's Gale is now ready. Okay, that, uh, that scared me a little. It's just this voice in my head. Okay. <coughs> Sabantha Wheats. Butter. Salmon. There you go. Hurry, hurry. That amazing smell. Could it be? You're going to let me have some, right? Right? Enjoy. Yay, time to dig in. I'm stuffed. Huh? My promise to my sisters. I suppose I shouldn't break my promise. I really do like singing, but I'm too nervous to sing in front of other people. I have some serious stage fright, but maybe my practicing sisters will help me feel more comfortable. Anyway, thank you for the amazing salmon. Okay. Yeah, we need to go there now. Yeah, three hours is not too bad. If that's including a lunch as well. We'll pass. Found Kiel, so she's at Wolf's business after all. Phew, really made me worried. Take this for your trouble. Okay. I mean, that's just an extra to make sure that you uh, you get this quest done.
four, five, three, four, five, three, one, two, four, five, three, one, two, four, five, three, one, two. Four, five, three, one, two. Korok leaves. There it is. Four, five, three, one, two. Finally, Shrine 119. I can't believe that they. I don't. I don't see the reason why. I mean, I guess because they're flying, but it's just. Why couldn't they have all 120 shrines accessible before fighting the beast? It just seems weird that two of them are left out. I would understand four because it's one per area, but it seems just so strange. Oh, hey, look, guys. Huh? Was that weird looking house always there? Oh. No, that's the shrine thing that the elder was talking about. Ah. So cool, who knew Warbler's Nest was keeping a secret like that? Huh? Let's tell mom. Oh. Yeah, let's... <laughs> See you later. Oh. Last one to mom is an unhatched egg. Ready, set, go. Where's my stuff? Jesus, worried my sword was gone. Vulu Vulota. To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Vulota. It's a trial, so not worthy, apparently. Winding route. That's a, that's a big ladder.
it's definitely an important consideration. Oh shit, not good. Go well. <laughs> this equally did not go well. <laughs> Just realized it's May 4th. Yeah. It's not anymore, but. Just overcomplicating this. I'm thinking, how how can I cheese this? There's no cheesing here. Just do do the thing. Do the thing. do that. I think I'm good. All right. That's shrine 119. Okay. Well, this is where I'm going to wrap it up for tonight. It's a good stopping point. Uh, but I want to say thanks for watching. First Divine Beast down. Koroks are at what they should be. And uh, I guess I've committed to the three heart thing, huh? Well, we'll see how we go. Tomorrow we head to the desert and to do the next beast in the final shrine. So... Tomorrow, it's actually pretty fitting. Friday, we're gonna do Divine Beasts. So we'll see what we can pull off tomorrow. But yeah, that's that's it for today. Uh, yeah, if you want to keep watching, as always, YouTube's the place to go. Just search for the channel over there, or you can go to shambles.gg that has links to everything I have in one convenient place. You can just click and go. And if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for watching, and consider doing any of that fun algorithm stuff if you want to support. But yeah, I'll be back tomorrow, and uh, we'll do more of this. So, stay tuned. Alright, I'm gonna go to bed, take care, enjoy the rest of your day, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.